area's most trusted and most watched news team. There's a star waiting in the sky. The master of reinvention. There's a worldwide outpouring of affection for music legend David Bowie. This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. David Bowie spanned generations. More than 140 million records sold, dozens of movies and Broadway plays. Always changing, he set trends and then moved on. Bowie died yesterday of cancer, and as word spread today, fans gathered in his native London and his adopted home, New York, to remember a man who once called himself a collector of personalities. Anthony Mason looks back. Like the lost astronaut Major Tom in his 1969 hit Space Oddity. Ground control to Major Tom. David Bowie was always traveling between worlds. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. His music and image perpetually morphing. From Ziggy Stardust to the thin white Duke, Bowie would restlessly reinvent himself. I glit from one thing to another a lot. Glit. Mm -hmm. It's like Flip, but it's, um, it's the 70s version. When he made a rare effort to explain himself on the Dick Cavett show in 1974. I'm a storyteller and a story writer, and uh, I decided that I preferred to enact a lot of the material I was writing rather than perform it as myself. Even his stage name was an invention. Born David Jones in Britain, he changed his last name to avoid confusion with the monkeys, Davy Jones. Hey, man, take over. In 1975, Fame, written with John Lennon, gave Bowie his first number one single in the U.S. In the 80s, he topped the charts again. For Bowie, it was always about more than just music, as he told Charlie Rose in 1998. I find that the idea of having to say that I'm a musician uh, in any way is an embarrassment to me because I don't really believe that. I've always felt that what I do is that I use music for my way of expression. I don't believe I'm very accomplished at it. But his fearlessness made him one of the most influential performers of the rock era. Bowie, who kept his cancer a secret, released his latest album, Black Star, just this past Friday on his 69th birthday. Look up here, I'm in heaven. A farewell from an artist who showed us he could be many things. There's a star waiting in the sky. And always be himself. Sales of Bowie's music have soared in the hours after his death. His new album looks destined to become his 10th number one. And Twitter reports that some 20,000 tributes a minute were spreading across the Internet in the hours after his death, Scott. And it would be Sir David, but he turned down a knighthood in 2003. Anthony Mason, thanks so much, Anthony. Mexico. What in hell? We have some of the lowest cost plans in Western PA, and they all give you full in-network access to the doctors and hospitals of UPM. Philadelphia cop, the manhunt for the men with possible radical ties to the suspect. Police warning their officers are still in danger. And farewell, David Bowie, the iconic, hugely influential rock and roll chameleon, dead at age 69. Tonight, tributes him around the world and his final goodbye to fans in his new album. Nightly News begins right now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, there is new video and rich new... That colder air reaches into the Northeast on Wednesday. When we come back, he reinvented music and himself time and time again. So many in mourning tonight for rock legend David Bowie.